What's up guys, Michael White here. And if you've stumbled across this video, if you clicked on this video, then you're here for one thing. You're here to learn the best place to start to learn coding. So if you guys don't know, I started my coding journey three months ago. You can feel free to go back, look at some of those videos, how I recommend you do, but I was in your shoes not long ago. So when I started, I watched a lot of YouTube videos. I read a lot of, you know, articles on the internet and you know, I learned there's, there's a literal ocean of information available for you to learn from. You got Udemy, you got free code camp, YouTube videos, blogs, co actual like paid courses, the Odin project. There's a ton of stuff out there. So I'm gonna tell you guys what I did. I tried a lot of things at first that didn't work too well. If you guys wanna see what those are, like I said, jump back to my earlier videos. I highly recommend starting. Highly, highly recommend starting with either Free Code Camp or the Odin Project. Now there's a big difference between the two, okay? So the Odin Project is hands-off. They have a curriculum set up, you follow the curriculum, but it's really on you to like, you know, work along with the curriculum and do what they're coding and read it and watch the videos and really try to understand it. Because once they turn you loose to the projects, that's it. There's like, there's nothing. It's just you and their set of guidelines, like that's it. Now over on Free Code Camp, as you learn along with each individual item, there's like a sandbox editor where you can like make sure that you're doing things right and they're kind of keeping you on the straight and narrow. And it's more of a hands-on approach and they're guiding you all the way until you get to the projects. And when you get to the projects, they set you free, just like the Odin project, you're on your own. You have references and you're set. Now, if I was brand new, if I was brand new, I would start with Free Code Camp first. I would do the Responsive Web Design Certification course. That's where I would start. I would start there, and it walks you through in the coding sandbox, basic HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. It gets you started in the right direction. The editor is like training wheels. It keeps you from learning things incorrectly, you know what I mean? Making sure you're doing things right, keeps you on a straight and narrow. And I would do that course all the way until you get to the projects, the last five projects you want you to build. Now, if you want to, you can build those projects, feel free. But once you get there, that's when I would swap over to the Odin project. If I enjoyed coding, if I liked what I was doing, if I got a taste for it and like was like, you know, inspired and wanted to continue, at that point, I would jump over to the Odin project and start from there. The Odin project's gonna have you setting up your own IDE, Installing a virtual machine with Linux, installing a code editor, VS Code, getting Git set up, and get your GitHub account going. And there's a lot. It gets you it gets you really set up to start developing. Which I just found more enjoyable personally. Like I really enjoyed that. It made me feel like I was doing a lot more than I really was. Side note, I actually ended up dual booting my main computer in Linux and Windows. Linux for work, Windows for game time in my game room. So I really enjoyed, I really enjoyed the Odin Project. I can't push that enough. I got a video on that here on the channel. Check it out. Odin Project, man. That's just the way I do things. If you like the more sandbox approach of Free Code Camp and it's working for you, stick with it. Finish out through Free Code Camp, man. There's nothing wrong with it. Free Code Camp is, is an amazing resource, all right? It's just that I prefer personally the more, you know, throw you into the deep end, you learn to swim approach of the Odin project. I, I learn better that way. When there's too much hand holding, things tend to not sink in as well. I don't get stuck enough. And it's when you get stuck, or at least for me, it's when I get stuck that I actually learn because I'm forced to Google for hours sometimes for, <laughs> for simple things. But yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap this one up there. I have videos going over things on the Odin projects. I got um, some other videos of projects I've worked on on each month mark. If you guys wanna check those out, if you're enjoying the video, you're enjoying the content, do like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me over on Twitter at the, T-H-3, Michael White. I'd appreciate that, show some love. I do post updates over there, got some other stuff going on. And yeah, um, that's it guys. So until the next one, peace.